to Second Run Gaming. I'm Austin. We're here with Massive Chalice. We're getting close to it. We're at year 257, less than 50 years before the end of the game. Um, we've got a lot of choices to make here. We're getting attacked in three different areas. We've chosen to protect our Castillans, and we're headed there right now. Our vanguard is much the same. Stray Doc passed away in between battles, so we have someone new to take over. Daenerys has been picked. She's 54, so probably won't be around for too long, but it's honestly in line with the age of our vanguard right now, which in general is going to be a lot of older folk. Victor, level 8. Crazy. This is likely going to be the second to last generation before the end, maybe the third to last. Um, but yeah, we're just going to focus on leveling up these relics. If we take a look, losing streak is up to level 5. The last friend is up to level 8. The idol at level 6. Blood tier at level 6. And the hand of fate at level 8 as well. Let's get in it. Lapses, bulwarks, and ruptures. Bulwarks are going to be the main thing that we're going to worry about, but lapses do a lot of damage as we learned not too long ago, especially when ruptures erode their armor. One of your heroes looks a little queasy. Maybe tell them it'd be best not to eat right before a jump. And now there's a turkey leg floating in our bowl. Okay, so right off the bat, there's some stuff going on here that we're going to want to pay attention to. We're going to have Elenya come up right here, right next to these bulwarks, specifically because Elenya has those knockback flasks that do a lot of damage if we can place them right. This is a 76. Doesn't actually land right on him. But I think that's our best bet. Knocked him back, hit him with the acid damage. Hurt him pretty good. They're definitely still alive, but not for long. And then we have a lapse that we can see over here. I'm gonna have Victor give it a shot and try and take her out right now. Damn, Victor, you still can't hit for shit. Well, it is what it is. Daenerys, thankfully, can actually stealth, so we're going to have Daenerys do that. I'm going to have clear move up here, which we still can't stealth for, so we'll have clear come back here instead just to stay out of the range of these bulwarks, and Anamore can also stealth, so we're going to have him come up here. That acid is pretty nice, but unfortunately, something that we're just learning right now is that prompts up their shell defense. We'll see if that goes away on our turn or not. Because that might be an unintended consequence of that acid. That's not too great. Oh, please miss. Okay. I can take one hit, but not two. Come on. Okay, their armor wears off, thankfully. But that's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm gonna have Claire run up and hopefully finish off this bulwark here. Nice. Mudslinger. Cool, Claire's got a nickname. We'll have Anno Mare run up and hopefully finish off this guy. Nice. Two bulwarks down. Never complaining about that. Daenerys unfortunately can't run all the way up for that lapse, but Elenya can, and with hack and slash we might be able to take him out. Yeah. That's awesome. Daenerys and Victor and that lapse has disappeared so I'm actually gonna have Victor come up here in stealth and we just saw a sneak peek there's three lapses right around this corner because of that I'm gonna have Daenerys just chill for a moment I'm gonna have her just sneak around so we know exactly where they are hopefully they don't reveal her in this next turn oh they shot right next to her. 
That's crazy. That's a reveal right there. Yike. Well, that sucks. Okay, well in that case, let's see what we're working with. I really trust Daenerys to survive an altercation with them. So I might run her back here. We know they're up there. Which is a problem. We'll have Elenya use her Ultra Elixir on Daenerys since she can't stealth. And then we'll have Claire stealth. Stay put. And Omer stealth as well. And just bide our time for this next turn. Perfect. I'm going to have Victor actually come out off to the side here. Mm, maybe not. Let's see. Just see if we have a better vantage point. We can see this lapse this way. So I'll have Victor take a shot. That's pretty good. Will the Mare hopefully just finish this guy off? We can't do it from right there, which is which is frustrating. Now Lenya's the vulnerable one though. I'm gonna have her throw a flask. Please don't miss. Okay, that worked. That kinda opened up that bridge area because that natural barrier of eggs was kind of kind of causing problems for us and I'm gonna have an Omer just try the sneak attack on this lapse please don't miss damn it okay well, we'll have clear move forward and you know, Daenerys can't do too much, unfortunately, right now. So we'll have Daenerys move up too and hopefully just not get hit. Yikes. They really, they really do just hit uh, hard now. So we're going to want to utilize stealth. A lot, I think. Can I have Victor come up here. See if he can't take this guy out. Almost. So close. Honestly, a perfect opportunity for Daenerys to just get at least a little bit of experience in. That'll free up an Omer hopefully get this lapse damn it Claire can Claire can stealth her way up here so we'll have her do that and then Elenya just being so light on health I'm gonna have her hide behind cover you know, we've got a bulwark up there and one lapse. Yeah, and it actually doesn't matter on the armor. They just do a shit ton of damage. They just, they, yeah, they just do a shit ton of damage. Well, Claire actually has a good hit percentage. And it didn't even matter. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Anomer does not have a good hit percentage. We have Anomer back just to heal. We're going to have to restructure how we're going to be approaching this, I think. These lapses are tougher than I want them to be. Daenerys has a shot to take. I'm just worried that it's not going to work. 
but we gotta try. Nice, nice. We needed that. We needed that pretty bad. These lapses have suddenly become just as, if not more, dangerous actually than the cradles. So I've underestimated them. They were pretty weak early on. They really just, you know, worked as an XP drain. But now, now they are very formidable. We've still got ruptures to worry about as well. Ooh boy. Scary times. I'm gonna restructure a little bit. I'm gonna have Claire come all the way back here. Primarily just to give Arcasteon their health back. It's awesome to have that Ultra Elixir because it really does heal them a lot. And then we're going to have our unit stealth. And we're going to take this mission from here on out just very stealthily. of that I think we'll have Alenia just stay where they are let the Cadence either stay where they are or come to us over time whatever works I'm gonna move Daenerys up here which is a little bit of a risk but we gotta get close enough with our whole party to feasibly do some real damage and Omer will come over here. It's kind of setting up a perimeter. That way we know exactly what we're working with, too. And then we can have Claire come up here. Elenia is really going to be the the reveal. I have Elenia up here because I don't think that they're in view and then we're just gonna see what happens it could be a shit show if someone gets revealed and this is where like I was saying in, I think the previous episode abilities like overwatch that other games that are tactical like XCOM have um, it's really nice because you can kind of set up a trap but these traps are harder yeah because a rupture will just wander into your dude and then your laps can take a free shot and hit, of course, for 18. Oh my god. Terrifying. Well, as far as hit percentage, it's hard to tell who to go for. Really, on any of these. I'm gonna have Elenia try to take this lapse out just with their hack and slash ability. Hey, at least it's close. Because, yeah, weirdly enough, these lapses have become priority numero uno. Uh, Victor, finish it off. Nice. 105. Well, that's amazing. And then we kinda gotta reveal everybody else, unfortunately. We can sneak attack with Claire on this bulwark and just take him out head on. Oh, fuck. Such a good hit percentage, too, Claire. And Omer could have sneak attacked. Damn it. Well, the rupture does a lot of damage. But not if he's stunned. So we're going to try and stun this rupture. Oh, what? He went through the map. I mean, it still worked. It didn't stun our guy, oh, thankfully, but that still does not inspire too much confidence. We're going to have Daenerys come back here just to kind of be away from the action. Have her use her ultra elixir. Please miss. We're really just hoping and praying that, yeah, the lapses in the bulwarks miss. We 
We still have an 86 to finish off this bulwark. I intend to do it. Nice. Eruptures aren't aren't good, but in comparison to everything else we're working with. Then have Victor come over here, see if he can't finish off this rupture on his own. Nice. Claire may take a little bit of corrosive damage from that, I can't quite tell. Have Daenerys move into hiding. It's because I don't want to startle anybody. And Anomare can't move into hiding, but we'll move Anomare up here. You can see that there's a lapse on the other side, but they can actually stealth now. Where to have them stealth is, is a harder question, but I'm going to do it up here. Okay. We know there's a bulwark lying around, but we also now know that there's at least two lapses lying around as well. Have Daenerys just move a couple units forward. And Elenya, just to stay useful, have her run for it as well. Her knockback flasks might be crucial in managing these lapses. Just move up here for now. We know there's a bulwark over there, but we actually can't see him, which is a bummer. Daenerys does not have a good range, but that's the only thing she can attack, so I'll have her at least try to finish off this lapse. Actually, really close. And similarly with Victor, if we move Victor here, go for the lapse or he can go for the rupture but the rupture is gonna hurt our guy so I'm gonna have him try for the lapse yes. nice Calm down. You're gonna keep us over. and that might have moved our other guy to reveal that bulwark it did so we can focus our energy on the bulwark instead with an Omer. and we're gonna we're gonna go for a straight attack because we got to be a little aggressive here if it isn't scary. Claire can come over here and do a knockback. From here to stun this guy. Nice. And then Elenia's gonna have to start making some moves, so I'm gonna have her come over here. If anything, as a distraction potentially for this lapse, but also to try and hit it. Nice. Didn't stun him, but at least got him with acid damage, so he's living on borrowed time. Miss from a bulwark is always welcome. Miss. Damn. Valenia just moved forward. Nothing else has been revealed quite yet. So I'm going to have her throw the flask just because she has better chance of hitting than with a standard melee attack. That gets her experience back at least. Not her health, but... It's something. And Omer hopefully finished off that bulwark. Awesome. I'm gonna have Daenerys try and do a knockback on this rupture to get him out of the way. Nice. And that means he'll be gone, blown up, not in the range of our heroes. There are still enemies around. I was half hoping that that wasn't the case. This is the end of the map, though. Which is a little scary. can't get over there it doesn't look like but maybe right over here 
There's probably some enemies hiding around. Either way, it looks like we've explored a decent chunk of the map, so I'm not too worried about facing too many more enemies, hopefully. Hopefully it's just a small handful. Because of that, as far as recon, we're going to have Victor's stealth and kind of head back the way we came. But not too far. We don't know where these enemies are coming from or where they're hiding out. It doesn't look like they're over here. Unless they are being real sneaky about it. They are back where we started. Definitely proud of us. This mission was, I mean, it's still, it, we're still not out of the woods, but it was looking a little risky. The last few missions in general, it's definitely, it hangs in the balance. It's a, it's a light thread. And if we lose too many people too quickly, I think it can unravel real fast. That's the crazy thing about Massive Chalice, I think in comparison to a lot of other tactics-based games, that's our laps. That's who we're looking for is just that they really rely on each other, so that five-person vanguard really feels um, necessary in comparison to a lot of other games. I mean, the, the tactic games in general, the more you lose members of your team, the more it hurts, but specifically because of the way that units phase out because of their age, they're all not as strong as a unit that you'd have in XCOM or fire emblem that you've spent dozens of battles leveling up so that they can kind of tank most of their stuff anyway this one very much more is collaborative like you might have one strong member of your vanguard for 20 years but in general everybody's got to complement each other okay so i think we're looking at three lapses still at a minimum which is pretty scary so we'll see. I'm going to have Victor just come over here just to get a more clearer view of what we're working with. I'm going to have Claire come over here. That way they're close to the lapses, but they're not in too immediate danger. Because they're going to have to kind of sit tight for half a second while we get the rest of our units up there. I still want to keep them all hidden because I don't know how long the lapses line of sight is. So yeah, there's definitely three of them. Elenia's really, really far behind, so I don't know if really she's going to be able to get close enough to do too much. But everybody else should be able to. I can definitely get Daenerys up here so that their next turn they can start doing some damage. Because of that, I'm going to keep Victor and Claire where they are for one more turn and just pray they don't get revealed. Whoa. Well, it wasn't them that got revealed. Yet. It does mean all the ruptures are coming in, which is good. And they've used all of their momentum, which is really nice, too. They're in a weird spot with knockback to where I don't think I can actually get them both. But Victor can certainly do a flask shot that'll hit them both. Which I think I'll try. Victor. Come on, dude. You're a highest level guy, but man, you can't hit for shit. Alright, well Claire's gonna run up and try and sneak attack this lapse at the very least. Nice. That's good. That stunned that other lapse. Made up for Victor's mistakes. In my opinion. <laughs> and then we're going to have Daenerys try for a knockback here to stun this guy. It was glancing, so not quite. And Omer can actually reach, so we're going to go for a sneak attack. Maybe just take him out right here and now. Nice. Awesome. Hopefully this is the last lapse. If that's the case, 
were pretty much golden. I could see maybe another bulwark hiding around though, so I don't know. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Victor, I'm giving you another shot. Nice. And then we'll have Daenerys since they're the newest one try and finish it off. Yikes. Almost. So close. Alright, and Omer. Give it a shot. 74. Overkill, but sounds good. Anomir the Brave. That's an awesome nickname. <sighs> Go on. Well, now I don't want to. Oh, please. Good job today. We prevailed in the Salt Stacks. Victor the Wanderer, Claire the Mudslinger, Daenerys, Anomir the Brave, and Elenya the Bear have all really done a roundabout job of, of just protecting our kingdom. Good job, guys. We did that one pretty quickly as well. It was definitely nerve-wracking. But it's something. Okay, so that's good in a way that both of the keeps got attacked at the same time. Just because now, it's really just the Foxfires that have those Cadence spread on them. But we're going to have to keep an eye out for it. Thankfully, the two regions that have additional cadence are these two regions over here, which we don't really have to worry about too much. Year 260. Research complete, a new keep has been completed. Marry heroes together to start a bloodline. Now we're not really starting a bloodline as much as we are. Basically just getting a contingency plan in place and it will be the Foxfire since they're, they're the ones that are in the most immediate danger. So as far as fertility goes, Robert Foxfire, Bountiful Quick Study, Wily Optimistic Reveler, some good, some bad, Christine, Stronghold Quick Study, Oblivious and Reckless, Tabitha, Strongwilled, Insightful, but Decreased Dexterity, Edarin, oh, that's a big no to Edarin, Alec, Quick Study but Slow, and Ilva. Quick study, quick, strong-willed, nervous though. Shifty. And it would be a nice narrative for Ilva, but the nervous one is not, not, no bueno. I think we're going to throw Robert in there. And we'll pair Robert with somebody. Sorlanda, maybe. Anaba is actually pretty good. But we don't want to take too much away from our Castilla line either. So in that case, I think I'll throw Sorlanda in. She's got decent stuff. And that leaves a good Castilla as a backup. And similarly, like we were just talking about, we don't have too much time left. So I'm going to focus just on contingency plans for us. And I'm going to throw another keep into another region. We got 35 years left. This just allows us to, if shit really starts to hit the fan, this last 35 years that we can, you know, quick evac another bloodline just so that we have them at the end. Because if we lose a keep of the bloodline, all those soldiers immediately just gone from our retinue. This is why it pays to always have your heroes on standby. Yeah, this is when it's going to start to get tough. Victory enough for them. This is actually a really hard decision. Because we have a territory here that has two marks of the cadence. But there's nothing built on it. And we have a territory here that has a mark of the cadence. But one of our keeps is on there. Territory over here, similarly, mark of the cadence. One of our keeps is on there. Either way, it's actually not a question for me. 
It's a question for future me. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll have to figure out who the fuck I'm going to protect, because I, I don't want it tonight, and so I'm not going to. Anyway, see you.